People are, are serious in Ohio when they say that we can be the Silicon Valley of alternative energy. We have an opportunity to truly be a national, in fact, a global leader in this industry. We expect that the offshore market worldwide to be approximately $5 billion in 2011 and to double in by 2016. Tremendous job opportunity here and uh, I'm excited about that opportunity. Wind. Let's harness it. Capture it. Use it as a resource to light our homes, power our industries, and fuel a spark in our economy. Let's make Northeast Ohio the national hub for wind energy technology while creating new jobs for the future of our workforce. Who knew that Northeast Ohio's history in the wind industry dates back more than a century? The interesting thing about Cleveland is that Cleveland was the very first place to have a wind turbine which generated electricity, and that was the Charles Brush machine on Euclid Avenue. Cleveland had another milestone, which was the effort that was led by NASA for the entire country to develop the very, very large wind turbines that we have in common use today. We really led the way in terms of the technology. In 2005, uh, we installed a 150-foot wind monitoring tower out at the uh, Water Department's intake crib. Primarily, we're monitoring wind speeds to determine uh, the feasibility of putting wind turbines out on Lake Erie. Your economic return from the electricity you sell depends upon the quality of the wind. And so actual measurements are much better than any prediction. And we've got two years worth of data we're working through right now. If it is feasible to put uh, wind turbines out on Lake Erie, what we're trying to do with the city and the county is position Cleveland and Northeast Ohio as the manufacturing center for the Great Lakes region. Before you take the risk to put 100 turbines out there, we want to put a few, and we're thinking 5 to 10. And that will help us answer the questions that need to be answered before we invest in putting 100 or 200 turbines out in the lake. Why wind? That's simple. For Northeast Ohio, manufacturing components like blades, nacelles, hubs, and towers will create an important economic development engine for the entire region. Ohio and Cuyahoga County are committed to developing the wind energy industry. There are thousands and thousands of jobs associated with the wind manufacturing business in the coming decade. We can capture some of those if we want to, if we position ourselves to capture them. The Renewable Energy Policy Project, or the REPP, came along in 2004 and said, guys, if you look at wind energy and the amount of potential jobs that you have available, Ohio ranked number two. What wind is doing is it's providing a shot in the arm, or really an injection of energy and investment into old school Cleveland companies. Uh, machine shops, forges, foundries, fab shops, companies that have seen seen things go the wrong way for quite a while are getting revitalized because there's this hot market that's sold out. And if they can qualify, they can get orders and long-term contracts. That's exciting. I've seen studies that say there's as much as a hundred billion dollar industry in wind turbine production and manufacturing that's going to be in the United States over the next 10 years. Cuyahoga County Commissioners in 2006 formed the Great Lakes Energy Task Force. The mission? Generate a plan to promote advanced energy. The reward? Economic development. Reduced energy expenditures. Improved air quality. And a spruced up image for the region. This task force led by Mr. Mason, appointed by the commissioners, has the most eclectic group of business representatives of uh, foundations of academics 
and they've worked very hard to form a consensus. So you have a very talented group of people working with a specific goal in mind and uh, we've managed to stay on point and I think that's been a key ingredient to making progress on the issue. We uh, just entered into a contract with a company from Germany by the name of UV who is going to do the feasibility study which is they're going to look out at the lake, look at the potential for putting wind turbines out on the lake, make a determination as to the economics of it, to a business plan for it, to the ecological impact it may have for the birds, the bats, the, the view shed, what it's going to look like. They're going to look at all this stuff, come back and make a recommendation to us whether we should probably pursue something like that or stay away from it. The question to me and to my colleagues is that will it be economically feasible to continue down this path? And there are a lot of issues involved and we're sharpening our pencils and we're going to spend a year really getting into the detail so that we can come back to the public and say yes, this is a good thing to do, it'll be economically feasible and lead to the economic development we're all hoping for.